Morning. Morning. Need to catch up later. As soon as I've done the stock take. Right. Well, we should also, you know, get some lunch together. Can't today. You yeah, but... I said I can't. Carla? Morning. Morning. We'll just play it by ear, shall we? She's so stressed. Wow. Well, hardly surprising. You, Dad, and everything. It's not to get your head round. I know. What she needs is a distraction, something else to focus on. Yeah, well, like I said, whatever you need, I'm there. Hey, we... We're still behind with the first batch of camisoles. I'll put a rocket up them. OK, enough's enough. OK, do you mind? We're busy. Tough. Look, I know you don't want to talk about Dad, Johnny. Call him what you like. But, and I know I'm only a lonely packing girl. This place still needs a strategy. A strategy? Moving forward. The staff need reassurance. Plan of action. How about this for an action plan? Pull your finger out. Carla, have a word. Look, I can't say I've thought a lot about it. So it's heads in the sand, then? OK, you want a strategy. Dad's gone and he's never coming back. Next. You don't know our dad if you believe that. You're right, Kate. I don't know our dad. And neither do you, as it turns out. I'll have to do the cake, then. Any takers? I think we're good. Well, is this a good time? Because it was well, actually... Oh, not at all. What can we do for you? Well, I realise that things are up in the air at the moment and that the structure of the management has changed somewhat in the last 24 hours. Out with it, Sal. Well, I just want you and Mr Connor to know that I'm here for both of you. Thank you. And, should it be required, I'm ready to step up and don the mantle of leadership once more. Appreciate that. Stabilising effect of a slightly older head and all that. Are we all done, then? Of course. Unreal! His chair isn't even flaming cold. Well, personally, I wish everyone around here had her attitude. This isn't going to get fixed today, love. This isn't how family works! Yeah, that's right. I dropped the F-bomb. Better get used to it. Aiden always does this. First hand of trouble, it shuts up sharp. Yeah, well, we all have a different way of coping with stuff, don't we, and dealing with things. This is what shows. You said earlier you haven't given it much thought. That can't be true. Master of denial. Suppressed emotions, that's me. You should get a T-shirt made. Mm. I'm sorry I'm being a pain. I'm just trying to make sense of all this. OK, I know. Let's... We will have that talk, honestly, we will. Even if we just strap it into a chair. That's all I ask. Mm. Just for the record, I don't think you're a pain. I just suspect you just... And this is... <clears throat> it's new territory for me, this. I suspect you being little sister. Earth to Roy? What, what? Oh, right, that's it. Go on, in the back, wash up. Oh. Right, right. Right, there you go, love. Oh. There you go. Anything else? No, thanks. Is Roy all right? Oh, not really. Why, well, what's happened? I think you better ask him yourself. Uh, just gonna go and check on him. No, no worries. Are they close? Close as you can get. What's up? You've got your own problems. You mean Daddy Dearest? Trust me, he's hardly on my radar, so what's up? Really, there's nothing to concern yourself with. This is getting boring now. If I tell you, you'll try and fix it. I don't want that. And if you don't tell me, I'll get the hump when you don't want that either. Kathy has ended our relationship. Beg your pardon, just... When was this? Yesterday. I'm sorry, she can't do that. She can. She has. No, she can't do that. Because you won a million bloke. She won the lottery when she met you. I brought it on myself. No, you brought her happiness is what you brought her. Come on. Come on, we're going to have this out with her. I knew this would happen. I said, come on, let's go. Sorry. Oh, I hate being predictable. Forgot to ask how you're feeling. Like I failed us both. People in the past have claimed I have a fixation for telling the truth. More than once, I've been told it defines me as a person. It does. You're a very moral person. 
Well, lies require effort and invention. The truth is the path of least resistance. The truth can hurt and all, you know. You're speaking about Johnny. Yes, obviously. But the damage the truth has caused there. Some secrets just need keeping. Nessa tried to convince me likewise. Look where we are now. You were trying to protect Kathy. Well, no matter how right the intention, and the decision was still wrong. Well, no one's going to judge you for it. I judge myself. Oh, well, what will that solve? Nothing. Nothing at all, Roy. So just live with it and move on. Sorry, Roy, I just I don't like seeing you like this. My fault for burdening you. You know what would make this right? We need to get Kathy back. I have tried to repair the damage. Well, try harder. Look, I know you're down on yourself. I get that, OK? But Kathy's much better off with you than without you. That's the truth. Oh, uh, that was quick. You said it was an emergency. Uh, what was if I told you there is no emergency and I've got you here on false pretenses? I'd say, Nick, sweetie, stop making sense, otherwise you'll be needing false teeth. OK, that's my point. What's your point? You just need to wind down a bit. And do you think wasting my time is going to achieve that? We'll be having words later. OK. <laughs> Sit. Come again? Yeah, now. For the next half an hour, let's uh, forget about the past and look to the future. Our future. What's this? Uh, menu for the reception. Seriously? Look, I'm really not in the right headspace for this. OK, look, everything's set for negotiation, apart from the crab cakes. That's kind of a deal breaker. Babe. Robert, can you join us? I thought if we couldn't agree, it might be good to have a professional opinion. Hey. Hey. So, come on. Let's get creative. I'm not asking you to split the atom. Chicken or lamb? Well, it's, it's a wedding menu. It's personal, isn't it? You write it, I'll create it. Mm, very helpful. OK, shoulder of lamb. What do you think? Well, I'd, I'd be happy with beans on toast. Classy. Well, Carla's right. People go to the wedding for the parties, not the buffet. Can you sign this? Can't Aidan do that? And we sit some boring networking event. Uh, we done here. Our first date. Chocolate berry tour. We've got to have that on the menu. It wasn't really a date, was it? I mean... I'm sorry, though. I've got to get back there, so... OK, well, uh, we don't have to have the tour. Thought you were more of a Ryoko girl. You really know nothing about me. I know you're going to give game away to Nick if you massively overreact every ten seconds. Oh, wow, you really rate yourself, don't you? And there is no game. I'm not about to bin everything over a quickie with a local chef. Come on. Oh, there you are. On me break. OK, well, that 40th birthday party's just arrived. I had to give my eardrums a break from Aidan. He's just come back from that networking thing, thinking he's all the sugar. Who knew they did this without vodka, right? <laughs>